So welcome to my reading rush vlog. I've decided I'm not doing daily vlogs because I love my I love myself and I don't want to put that pressure on myself, uh, especially considering that I'm supposed to be reading. Like that's what my time's supposed to be for. Sorry, my hair looks ratchet up top. That's what my hair's supposed to be. That's what my hair's supposed to be for. <laughs> Or it's supposed to be for reading, not for me to stress about editing and then uploading. So, a week vlog. This is the week of the reading rush. I'm excited. This is my first reading rush. Um, honestly, I'm intimidated as well. Um, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to read a lot of books, um, especially for, like, I put some pressure on myself too because I did pick a book for each challenge when maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. So anyway, dude, it's just like, I don't know what happens. The sweat accumulates at the top of my head and it's just, anyways. So Monday start of the week. That's usually how weeks go. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Starbucks and do some work. I have to work on my book before I do any type of reading. Um, and I'm going to Starbucks mainly because I don't have any coffee creamer in my house. So I cannot have black coffee, I'm sorry. I'm that type of person that needs to basically feel like I'm drinking milk. Sit and do some work, have a coffee, iced coffee, of course. I have already started, um, and it's on my phone, which is charging, so let's talk about that later. But I have already started the audiobook for Shadow of Night. This was supposed to have already been read before this week started because this was not on my Reading Rush TBR. But I got super lazy and intimidated by the fact that it's over 500 pages um, that I just didn't, I just didn't, <laughs> just didn't get to it. So I'm going to find a way to put it on my Reading Rush TBR. It kind of looks like there's purple on the cover. Um, I bought it last year. So does that technically mean I meant to read it last year? I don't know. But yeah, this is what I'm working on. I'm on chapter three of this huge piece of thick ass and... I do have the tab separated, so this should ideally take me five days to finish. Um, and I'll read other books along the way. But for now, let's get going. I'm running a little bit behind schedule. Well, let's get out of here. Wow, that's a look. <laughs> so yeah, today's day two of the readathon. And I've actually been doing stuff. I just, I don't know. I've been really weird about vlogging. And today, my boyfriend actually stayed home. And so it made it like, I, it made me less likely. English is hard. <laughs> It made me less motivated to pick up the camera to vlog. 
Um, but it's fine. We're going to move past it. So it's like around 7 o'clock, I think, right now. Um, and I've been doing a lot of reading from Shadow of Night. Um, I'm actually probably about halfway through this already, which is very impressive considering that I thought this was going to take me a really long time. The audiobook, the audiobook is saving me. I'm almost to 250 pages into this. Um, it's been, it's been an okay ride so far. Um, it took me a bit to get into it. I would say I was finally getting into the story at about 150 pages. Um, and now I'm more invested into the story, I think. Um, and like, I'm remembering why I love these characters or not like these characters. And so that's fun. Um, I also didn't know that this book had like steamy scenes in it. And it, <laughs> when I got to that part in the audiobook, I was so uncomfortable. I was, Bleh. and there's been three sex scenes in here and every time the audiobook gets to it I'm like oh my god please let it be over please it's because I didn't know that there was going to be steamy scenes like that in here or if because like I don't know I just I don't know why it's so off-putting for me but I'm just like ew move on please let's go back to the plot I'm more invested in like the plot and like more about about Diana and like her stuff like I don't know just like the whole witch and world stuff that I'm not really into them having sex together I'm like let's just do a fade to black and move on please <sighs> it does not fade to black and I <laughs> I want my life to fade to black every time it comes up but anyways I'm making progress with the audiobook the thing with the audiobook because I love it and it's helping me get through this really quickly it means it means I'm neglecting my other book that I'm supposed to be reading which is Wicked Fox um I'm about I think 30 like exactly 30 pages into this I tried to read it last night and it's not the book's fault I was just like kind of losing the tension I guess um and then me and my boyfriend watched a video last night um on Netflix it was a very cute animated movie it was called Mary and the Witch's Flower very cute um I just didn't like the ending but everything up until the ending was fabulous that's kind of why I didn't read more um but yeah I plan to read more today and then now it's seven o'clock and I haven't picked this book up at all today but I'm gonna change that I'm going to read damn this hair is a wild freaking look I'm gonna pick this up again and so I just had dinner we had some delicious Burger King compliments to the chef and so I'm just gonna finish up my bag fries bag fries are the best by the way arguably better than the actual fries they give you in the container just saying so I'm gonna finish my bag fries put on a face mask to like love myself and I'm breaking out too so I don't know if face max face max face max I don't know if face masks are a good thing to put on when you're breaking out but we're gonna do it anyway but got lemon lime acai berry and pomegranate um, these are so cute too. Um, which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to do the acai berry today. You guys should leave me a comment down below and tell me which one I should use tomorrow or, oh wait, you won't know because it's not a daily vlog. Okay, bye. I secretly only got these because they have fruit on them and I don't know why, but this summer I'm completely obsessed with anything with fruit on it especially lemons so I'm excited to try it though and yes I do keep them in my fridge I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be kept cold so oh my god it's cold Ugh. hey honey do you think I'm attractive? 
。野菜でよ。<笑>うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
move forward and I'm like, you know what, maybe this is just a slight, a slip of the hand kind of writing. It's fine. We're going to move past it. Then we actually get to the sex scenes between these two. And I will admit, the sex scenes were pretty steamy. Until the topic of shark testes came back up. And I'm like, can we get off the shark testy train? Because I don't want to be on it. So in his human form, he's just, he's a human. He's got a dick. Cool. It works. But when he mates, because that's apparently what shark shifters do, is they mate. And when he mates these spurs come out of his dick <laughs> and he's like I have to rein it in because if it happens now she's gonna freak the fuck out and I'm like bruh she's literally imagining shark dick inside her it's fine you don't she she'll be fine so it's like this vague topic throughout the rest of the book that he's got there's some kind of magic dick somewhere and I'm like I don't want to see it I don't want to hear about it I don't, I don't want anything to do with it. Why did I give this book two stars? Because before the mention of Shark Dick, the steamy scenes were actually good. And there's like this other plot, like a mystery within the book that there's something in the water that's making other creatures sick. And so it's Conrad's job to find out what it is. And I was more intrigued by that than anything. But that lasts like two seconds in this very short book. And then we're back to shark testes and I can't I can't handle this <laughs> I think it's safe to say I'm not gonna be continuing with the series unless my intense fascination with shark dick becomes a new reality but I need to go watch like 50 wholesome videos because I, f I feel like I've sinned I've sinned in the house of the Lord I gotta go I actually forgot that there's video challenges and Instagram challenges for this readathon, so I'm gonna catch up really quick um, and do the first challenge, which is to draw a book character in 30 seconds. So I'm gonna pick Sorcery of Thorns because I'm secretly hoping that Elizabeth will pop up, but uh, well, let's just go for it. <laughs> Elizabeth, dress! That was the first thing I saw, so I'm not cheating. Okay. All right. And it's a fight scene. So maybe we should draw her with, with Demon Slayer. Am I gonna have time? Thirty seconds. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh my god, I made this too big. <laughs> well, that's... I think that's pretty good. That's Elizabeth and that's Demon Slayer and it's dripping blood because she's fighting. Although I just realized the demonic stuff wouldn't bleed it would just disintegrate but it's fine it's, it's the disintegration happening that's not bad let's give her a name Look at this. How do I get this hair to curl? It curls here and like up here and then you get here and it just gives up. <laughs> okay, I was just gonna update really quick. I'm going to try to read my audio, listen to, read my audiobook. 
whatever. I'm going to listen to my audiobook while I play on my Switch. And I've never done that because I'm really bad at <laughs> multitasking. But I need to read and I want to play Stardew Valley, so. Hey guys. Um, I just wanted to sit outside for a little bit, so I figured I would update you guys here. But, um, just I guess a little bit of a life update. Um, up until recently, I was thinking, and you know, low-key still thinking about um, kind of stopping my booktube channel. Um, I originally started this channel with the intention of documenting a really big change in my life. Um, I moved my entire life, most of my life, um, from California to a place in Canada. And the transition has not been easy. Um, my depression came back really hard. I gained a lot of weight. <laughs> I am the heaviest I've ever been. And... I think I underestimated how difficult this change would be. I'm away from all of my family. I'm away from all of my friends. I do live with my boyfriend here in Canada, which is really nice. Um, but besides him, my social circle is very small. Um, but anyways, that was the point of this channel, was to document that struggle for myself, for my family and to really allow myself to see the highlights when there are highlights. Um, and then I just blossomed into also being a booktube channel because I love to read and I've always loved to read. And I met a lot of my best friends from being involved in books. And I've talked about it briefly, but making friends in grad school is actually very difficult too. Um, I'm not really connecting with people in the way that I'd like to um, and I don't want to see this grad process be some sort of competition and like I've been in friendships before where the friendship itself is a competition and it's so toxic and damaging for our mental health, for our perceptions of relationships. Relationships should not be competitions. Friendships should not be competitions. Like, I just feel like it's so middle school, so high school, like, you know, being where I am in my life now, I'm not looking to compete with anyone but myself, you know? Like, if I am going to be competitive in any regard, it's going to be because I'm challenging myself, not because other people are challenging me in a negative way, I guess. And lately I think I've lost sight of what my priorities should be, which is to write my book, write my novel, work on revisions this summer, and get ready to present this story to the world. So I was going to take a break slash step away from booktube, and then I saw a video today where I was like highlighted as the booktuber of the week, which, how, why? Um, but I don't know, just hearing this person, and I'll leave that video down below, but hearing them talk about the way I present myself on, on booktube or in my videos, as if I've, I've been, been doing this for much longer than I have as if I've been down this road before and I guess in some ways I have. I used to be very active in the book community back when it was a lot smaller um, and it was mostly centered around booktube and book blogs. Um, and I made a lot of my connections and friendships like that. I met a lot of authors like that. Um, and I don't really know where I'm going with this, but 
I would like to stick with this booktube thing and try to remind myself not to get discouraged if I don't have a lot of followers, if I don't have a lot of views or a lot of comments because someone is watching out there. Um, and if anything I say in that vlog can help someone in some way, shape, or form, or be some kind of reminder that, hey, you're your biggest cheerleader, your biggest competitor, um, your biggest everything, you know? And if something that you get from my vlogs offers some sort of peace of mind for you, then, like, that's good enough for me. And I don't need the big numbers or the big views. Like, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay where I'm at. Like I said, I've been there, done that kind of mentality. Um, I'm just trying to look forward. I'm trying to get my graduate degree, figure out what my next step is and what jobs I want to get when I'm done. Where do I want to live? Do I want to stay in Canada? Or do I want to go back to the States? Do I want to get this project that I'm working on published someday? All these things that I have to think about. And so like the number of subscribers and the number of views and while in a very immediate and present moment that may seem like something I'm concerned with, I have to remind myself that the bigger picture isn't concerned with that. So all this to say that if you're still here and still watching, I super appreciate you. <laughs> and um, I hope you stick around for a bit because I'm, I'm looking forward to documenting my journey and where I go from here and where my writing goes from here. I'm gonna close out the vlog here and I've decided I'm gonna split my reading rush blog vlog into two parts so i hope you enjoyed part one stick around later in the week slash weekend for part two and i'm looking forward to reading more books good books getting further into books um the first three days of the readathon and i've read one book so <laughs> i'm really gonna try to kick it into gear for the second half and read some more books so thank you guys for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye